Before we talk Leicester and, and Premier League, can I just ask you about Champions League? Because everybody's talking about the draw yesterday. You're going into this season's competition after what happened last year, going so, so close. You, you've obviously strengthened as well. So what does that do for your confidence and your approach in this season's competition? We will see that. Don't know. Um, it's not too important. Last season is never too important. It, it, it's good as an information, it's good as an experience, but it will not help you massively in, the, in a specific game. So I don't think that we can go in the, what's the, the first game is at home against PSG. We go in that game, I think. We're already halfway through because we beat Rome and Manchester last year at home um, in a very impressive way, obviously. So that has nothing to do with each other. We will have to prepare these games um, in, in the best way we can. Um, they all, it's still a, a, a early part of the season, but when we face PSG, then we probably all played five or six games in, 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 in the season. Um, and so you have a lot of information. So it's not like the first game in the Premier League when you only have um, um, pre-season friendlies or test games or something like that. So. That makes it really interesting preparation. I love that always to do, um, try to adapt to the different needs against the different opponents. And for the boys, as I said, it's 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 exciting when you have when you when you have your first Champions League game. But the good thing with that competition, it's not less exciting when you have num number 10, 12, 15, 20, because it's a, the competition is outstanding and everybody wants to play there and when you are there and it's clear that you face constantly outstanding good teams that's all the Champions League is all about that so there are only good teams involved and so I was not surprised yesterday in a negative way not in a positive way that I thought wow um, it's PSG it's Napoli and it's um, Belgrade so that's how it is and um, um, yeah now let's play the Premier League, obviously, and um, then be ready for that competition as well. That's it. The season very moves moves very quickly into into another gear in September, doesn't it? Because you have three competitions with with the League Cup as well. Um, as I said earlier, you, you, you did strengthen in the summer. So how how's your feeling now about the, the, the strength in depth in the squad at the moment to cope with all this football? Yeah, today it's good. <laughs> Today it's good, but it needs to stay good. So that's how it is. Because we, well, it was always clear that August will be a bit uh, different because um, you know, we started now three times in a row with the same starting lineup. Um, that will not happen too often from now on in the future. That's how it is. It's not probably not possible, um, um, but hopefully we have the, the choice as well in that part of the season because that's why we did it. We didn't do it for August. We did it for for pretty much all the other months. Of the of the season, and um, that's yeah for the for the moment it's, it's absolutely good. But we have to we have to prove that then as well on the pitch. It's not about knowing who who is available. It's about that the guy who is available can perform on highest level. That's very important as well. So we try to 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 help with all we can with training meetings and stuff like that. But at the end, um, it's still like this. The boys have to deliver and. Um, yeah, I thought after the preseason it looked really good. Now all the players are uh, four weeks um, further, so it means they are now in a much better situation than three weeks ago when we had um, when the season started because of only the physical things, and we need that. So we need that. We need um, a good result uh, tomorrow and a good result in all the other in all the other games. So and for that we need all the players. So I'm looking forward to that. You mentioned help, and I think you're the first club in English football to employ a part-time throw-in specialist coach. Can you can you just explain why you've taken that decision? Why why a throw-in so important to you? Well, I think it's not only important to me; it's important to everybody. But it's, to be honest, I never I never heard about a, a, a throw-in coach and. How it is as a football manager, you know a lot about different things. And I, I, I played the game. I'm managing since around about 18 years or so. But um, that doesn't mean that I'm a goalkeeper specialist, I would say. And I'm obviously not a throwing specialist. But I know about the uh, different movements. That's what we always did. But it was not 100% clear. Maybe it's only my fault. But it's uh, for me, it was not one of How can I improve the guy with the ball, not only the movements? Uh, of all the other guys. So, uh, and when I heard about Thomas, then I was, it was clear to me, I want to meet him. When I met him, I was clear. I was, it was 100% clear I want to employ him. And so, 
now is here and um, now we work on that from time to time but we use his information as well during the weeks when during the week when he's not here so it uh, we, we use it for, of course for the academy as well so it's it's good it's just you cannot have uh, enough specialists around you. I, I must be always the, the, the guy who, who makes the decision when do we use all these specialists, but you cannot have enough. So we have that fitness, medical department, we have that nutrition, and now we have, we, um, we have uh, somebody for throwings. Yeah. And he's a, he's, a, he's a good guy, <laughs> to be honest. Made a difference? Huh? Has he made a difference? Yeah, yeah, of course, already. Yeah, it's cool. It's good. Boys like it. Um, they've, uh, Somebody who knows uh, what he's talking about, it always helps <laughs> when you want to improve something. Thank you. Uh, yeah, what are your thoughts about facing Leicester without Jamie Vardy, a man who's caused you problems in the past? <laughs> yes, that's true. Um, yeah, uh, Jamie is uh, for, for the player, he is, and um, he caused pretty much each team problems with this style of play, actually, with always on the edge, um, going in behind, over shoulder, all that stuff. It's really difficult to defend. Um, you, so that makes him different to nearly all other strikers in the Premier League. So it makes him so special. That's that's good for him. But now he will not play. So that changes, of course, a few moments in the game maybe for Leicester. But Ianacio is a very good striker as well. So um, it's slightly different, of course. Now we all are different, but um, very very good. And um, they 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 changed anyway the the, the style a bit. So it's. Um, very good team, and you see, okay, we play them, so it's not important that I like it too much, but um, the, the work of Claude Puel obviously now starts paying off, um, so that's really, you can see it uh, with Madison, Pereira, Gray, that's an offensive line, not a lot of not a lot of teams in the Premier League have, um, plus then whoever's the striker in, in, in that formation, and so that's, that changed the style a bit, and um, Makes it well, the, the preparation for the game was really interesting because it's a, it's good football. It's good football, but Leicester's playing. I think they are uh, full of confidence after, um, um, especially the last result, which which always helps. And um, yeah, will be will be difficult for us. It's a um, but how I said we are in a good moment as well, and um, we, we don't go, we go there and really try everything, everything to 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 get the result we. We deserve at the end. So if we play good, we should, then we, or maybe we can deserve uh, a win. And if we play not that good, then it will be difficult. So we have to be at our best. That's the, yeah, that's it. Can you give us a few thoughts on Allison? Because I think the stats right. He'd become the first goalkeeper to keep four clean sheets in his first four games. He's made a difference. Mm. He's a good goalkeeper. Um, yeah, and. Um, well, so, so far, we, we defended well. It's not that he had 20 shots on target um, so far. So, um, but that's hopefully stays like this. So you need a goalie who is always spot on and is constantly on highest um, concentration level. Because, um, how I said, you don't. Hopefully, at Leicester as well, there will not be 10, 12, 15 shots on target. So we have to avoid that. And then, um, in the specific moments, he needs to be there. So far, so good. Um, um, nothing to moan about today. But we all know there will be for us as a club, as a team, for some players, there will be difficult moments during the season. And it's a job to push them as far away as possible and in the best way you have it in the, pre in the summer break. But um, that, uh, we need to be ready for, for different challenges. He, him, myself as a goalkeeper and, of course, we as a team as well. A goalkeeper alone on the pitch could never make um, enough saves to win a game. But with all the guys around, um, yeah, it's a bit more likely and that's what we try to, to do. Do they have numbers on their back? Or what? Yeah. Um, Jürgen, you said it so early in the season, but, but should you make it sort of 12 points out of 12 um, tomorrow in the Premier League before an international break, what kind of message, what kind of statement will that send out? If you ask me that after the game, I don't know. That depends on the game. It's only, it's, uh, uh, of course, it, it, it would be fantastic, but we don't go for 12, um, we go for three. And that's difficult enough, actually. Uh, and uh, the next three, and that's, um, yeah, we, we cannot, how could I sit here after the season Leicester played so far and, and, and only had a percentage of 
an idea that, that we will win there for sure. That's not possible. We only will try everything. And um, for that, we need to be ready for, for a real fight. They, they really have a good side. So in a situation like that, of course, then uh, people talk after Champions League draw, so all which all talk about the same clubs, and then the next match days. But they are, are they are really good football teams, and Leicester looked to me really good in these first three games. And so the message would be: we are ready, uh, we were ready so far um, for all these games. That's the message. But um, that doesn't mean anything because then we the boys go all over the world again. Um, I have big. Um, travel, uh, big journeys. Um, the Brazilians come from USA uh, midweek before we play Tottenham. So that, that's how it is. We, we cannot. We, have, we want to win that game. You can imagine that, but um, I can't be sure in the moment that it will happen. So no, I have no problem with that. But and doesn't mean for the rest of the season anything. Only we have already 12 of the. I don't know which number we'll have at the end. And then very difficult games are coming up. That's how it is. So. Um, going to Tottenham was never easy and will not be in a moment easy. And um, so that's it. But um, we still try to do to do it at Leicester uh, with all the things we know meanwhile about them. We know, yes, it's possible, but it will be really difficult. Jürgen, uh, three wins out of three so far, three different types of performances. Uh, how much encouragement do you draw from the fact that you you can find different ways to win and you don't necessarily have to be at your brilliant best. Oh, to be honest, I don't think it was too different. Yes, the, of course, the away game was completely different to the home games. Um, but for a away game at Crystal Palace, we had to be, be, be control the game um, in, in a good way. So that's very important. Uh, everybody, well, you know it better than I do, that uh, how, what kind of place the Palace Stadium is. So um, it's, it's, um, it's difficult to... To, to to succeed there, to, to get something there. So, but the Brighton game, I would say in the first half, we could have been two or three nil in the lead. That's the truth. So we were really good in these moments. Counter press was good. Football playing was good. Patient, all that stuff. Uh, patience was there. Um, whatever you needed in the right moment. Only if we didn't score. Uh, but the, I think the header of Bobby, the very big chance of Sadio after nice play. Left foot missed the goal for I don't know an inch or so, and these things. And if you if you can score in these situations, then the game changed obviously completely. But we didn't, and so that was. Uh, and then the second half we had to fight for the result after um, we lost a bit the rhythm and 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 these things. But it's not. I know that things that is happening, especially in the early season, it always can happen because how could we be 100% sure how to deal with all these situations when you didn't have it together uh, so far? Um, so yes. Um, in the second half, if you want, uh, the, the home game with West Ham and, and Brighton was completely different. First half was not too different. Uh, and so I'm, I'm fine so far with what I saw because it always brought us three points. But again, Leicester is a different, is a different caliber and it's really, it will be, will be tough. So that's how it is. They, are, they, they play really confident football. Right? The, 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 all the midfield is is is, is really strong. Eh? It, it looks good. Defensive, the, the defensive line is. Um, they play together for for a while. Obviously, then Chilwell, massive, massive player for them and uh, with a great future. So it looks really um, big, big talent. If he's still a talent, but is um, but is really a good player. So that all makes it that all makes it special, and. Um, Taking the confidence out of the result from the results is important, but it should not lead you on the wrong path. So that's how it is. So we, we spoke a lot about that, um, about what confidence can do in a good way, very cool. But if you it's, if you misunderstand it, then you are already on the on the on the losing side if you want. So we need to we need to go there and be. I, I, only my English doesn't give me a lot a lot of different words for that. We need to be angry again. That's how it is. You've named an unchanged side uh, for the first three matches, and you mentioned before that's pretty unusual for you in the Premier League. Apart from the obvious injuries and, and perhaps loss of form, what are the sort of things that, that inform you of, uh, of having to, or, or, or as far as you're concerned, needing to, to change your starting line? Well, when you win a game, and in a week like this, Saturday, Saturday, where we have um, at least three very intense sessions, then 
I'm pretty open. I'm pretty open to, to, to everybody. I want to see who wants to, who shows me the most and who shows me that he's so desperate to play. And that's exactly the same for, for of course, there's a little advantage for the, for the lineup last week, which won the game, but that's, that's the only thing. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm really open to that. And it's um, in the best way. It's always like this, that nobody has a, what do you say, a week a week from the, from the starting lineup last week that was like this, but uh, then maybe somebody is really showing up. So that's one part. Then what, what fits to the opponent, what, what is needed for the opponent um, is very important. So um, it's not that I, that I close the book already directly after the game and think, OK, we won again, so they will play again if nothing happens. So no, it was, uh, it was, it's this, there's a lot of qualification, a lot of qualification possibilities through a normal week. It's much more difficult when you play three three times a week because then you have not that much training and I have, I have to guess a bit more. But um, in in this time, um, in this week especially, it was it was I saw a lot and um, the quality of training needs to be on a really high level and that's a good thing with a, with a squad when they all are when they all are um, fit and available. Then you have then you have twenty one twenty two players. And if they are, and that early in the season they are all, um, then really, yeah, in, in a good moment, even the players that didn't play because they know we will need them, um, then the quality is really high. And if he, if he can take that through the season, that would be a massive help. Mark Conway. Hey, hi. <laughs> yeah, I'm back in the front scan, yeah? yeah. Just, just keep your switch on, yeah? Or the camera Mohamed Salah's had an interesting week. He started off with a, a very public argument with the Egyptian FA. He was in Monaco for the um, Players at Wards. Um, last season, we obviously we talked about his goals in his football. Are you, are you worried at all that these things have become, will become a distraction for them? Oh, about the thing with the Egyptian FA, I cannot say too much. It's like um, it's really something in, uh, between the, the player and, uh, and the FA. So I don't. I I know. I spoke to Mo, of course, about that. But it's not about us to 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 intervene in that moment or or whatever to to say something about that. They they will sort that. I'm 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 pretty sure. So that's it. And um, what was the other thing? Because he was in Monaco this week. Yeah, I mean, just, just the whole yeah, the week he's had. You know, I mean, I mean, following up on that, are you happy then for players to to be publicly outspoken like he has been in this argument with? I said, it's not. It's not. It's not about me. So it's um, it's it's really a between between Mo and and and, and the FA, and uh, I, that's that's all what I can say about that. They all are adults, and as long as they don't talk about us, <laughs> so pretty much everything allowed. I would say, maybe not everything, but a lot. <laughs> Yeah, Jürgen, you spoke about how pleased you are with the defence so far. Just wondering how impressed you've been with Joe Gomez so far this season. Look, it's much with the early too. Yes, I'm, I'm, of course he was part of the of this team and he played really good. And um, I wasn't in doubt about that. So it's very important because, of, especially because of the injury of of Dejan that we really end at the beginning of the season, that kind of injury still um, from from Joel. It was very important that he could um, play like he played. Um, hopefully it will continue like that. So that's it. So still a young boy um, going out to England um, after the game. Probably will play there one or two games. So it's it's a it's an intense period for him as well. After a difficult year, after a long injury and all that stuff. But his his ability, his skills, there was never never in doubt about that. So but he's he's part of that and um, obviously enjoys it. And um, now we need to. Make sure that he, um, yeah, he can do that. Can do that um, consistently. That's that's the case. Hey, Jurgen, uh, Simon Mignolet recently said he found it bizarre that he wasn't allowed to leave on loan while Loris was. Um, can you understand his frustration, given he might not play that much this season, and it doesn't look likely that he's going to depart before today's deadline? No, that's true. Nobody will, uh, or he will not uh, depart. Of course not. So, yeah, no, it's. I would say that's. Um, how is that? You, in general, um, discussing your, your your individual problems in public is is, is actually um, doesn't make too much sense uh, because it's better you speak to each other. That's always I'm a big believer in that. Uh, but um, yeah, it was it was still okay. 
Uh, but uh, of course, it's um, it's actually the the it's a one time, and we are all human beings, and I have no problem with that. And um, but if he would be happy to be a number two, he, he would be a completed. Then I wouldn't really know him. So he's a he's a, a top professional, a, a top goalkeeper, and of course he's not happy to be number two. But at the end, there are worse things in the world than being number two. Um, pretty good paid, by the way, um, as uh, at Liverpool. So um, I have no, I don't. It's absolutely in the first moment you you, you understand decisions or not. Uh, it's always better. And then to talk to me about that directly than uh, newspapers, because in this case, I, Matt told me at one point, uh, but um, usually I would not even be get aware of it. So that means then you, you, it's, it makes not too much sense. Uh, if you want to say me something, then <laughs> say it directly. That helps. <laughs>